It's uh, fast and aggressive racing. Here we go. I'm coming out of nowhere, and this is my year to win it. It's going to be exciting. It's a great race, a great event for everybody to come down to. Okay, race fans, it's time to get excited. This weekend, 7th, 8th, and 9th, nine days away, we're going to be racing. And there's no mayors, there's no council members, there's no city managers, there's no type A personalities. We're all racers. We're going to try to beat each other's brains out. This is one of the most fun weekends we have in the Antelope Valley. And the reason it's so fun is not just do we get the community together, but it showcases the Antelope Valley to the rest of the world. And we do these things, and cities do these things, not just for the community aspects, for the economic development aspects. Downtown, you may not realize, has over 800 permanent jobs because of, under this council, the revitalization of downtown. 1,100 construction jobs. 37 new businesses in the last two and a half years. Okay? It helps the economy to do these. That's why cities do these things. But it doesn't hurt that it's really fun, too. So to tell you a little bit more about it is Mayor R. Rex Paris. This, this is my favorite event of all the things we're doing. We'll have 10, 15,000 people out there watching these races. This year, they're going to be faster. The, the, the competitors are world-class competitors. And it's actually becoming a world-class event in the, in the world of go-kart racing, which is exactly what we want to do in a lot of different fields. We, you know, we have the soccer. We have the, the softball. We are a world-class destination for both of those types of fields. Now we've become a world-class destination for a go-kart Grand Prix. Anybody has some any, any other ideas, we'll, we're certainly going to jump on them because what we're finding is the more of these we do, the, the greater everybody's experience for this, the entire city is. I want Ricky Clutter to come up, Ricky Clutter of Lancaster Honda. If it wasn't for Lancaster Honda, we wouldn't be able to do any of this stuff. Uh, they are always there. They're always sponsoring things. They're always putting their checkbook out. And in this economy, that is truly a difficult thing for these businesses to do. Third year, this is how we roll. This is how we do it. This will be a, a, we'll sponsor this as long as we're around and that's that. You know, we got a celebrity driving crew, Fathead. We got the fastest lady, Lisa. Let's, I mean, she is something else. Have you seen her? So we have a good little crew put together, and I think we're going to do well. And God bless the city and everybody, and we appreciate it. Thanks. One of the things uh, to grow an event is you have to partner with world-class people. And we had a world-class person in the racing world come out last year and look at the event. And it's unlike other folks that will come in and tell you without knowing what you do, how you can do it better. This person spent three days with us, looked and said, this is what I think you need to do. We are so blessed to be able to partner with Tom Kuchar. Well, when I came out last year, the, it started out two years ago, and I think it's, you know, it's been a great event. Uh, the great problem you've had, it's, it's grown. And uh, when it grows, it's got to get a little more organized, and, and that's why uh, I, you guys brought me in here. So first thing that we've done is we got these, uh, this fleet of cars are all brand new. So all Friday, we're going to have about 150 people driving these cars, so it's going to be a lot of fun Friday. Also, the mayor races, and, and all the races are going to run into Saturday night, so that's going to be a lot of fun under the lights. So we're kind of uh, changing it a little bit. We First thing I did is took my design crew. Uh, down and, and redid the whole city. I brought it into, I, I want to be able to sit and have a beer at Beck's and look over the race or, or, or have some food and see what's going on. Last year we were going down Sierra, you know, Sierra and we weren't coming into the city. So I think that's going to bring more people in and it's just going to be all around just straight out better. Uh, <clears throat> for people that don't know, I, I run the largest race in the world called the uh, Super Nats and it's at the Rio in, in mid-November. People come from all over the world, NASCAR, Formula One, uh, Champ Car. We will see a lot of famous people or whatever you want to call them. We'll see a lot of great racers, a lot of, uh, you know, been have been racers uh, in Lancaster. A lot of people have teams. They have kids uh, that are down there, so it's going to be a great event. I heard there was, uh, you know, uh, twenty to 25,000 last year. I heard 15 here. I don't know, really know what the number is, but it's going to get bigger and it's going to get better. Here's the cool thing. When I tested uh, the cart like this with a helmet on, the little lights that tell you that you're speeding downtown, we're doing 99, so that's a good sign. So we should see 100 mile an hour down the straightaway. We have had the city that has been incredible to work with. As a promoter, usually I have to fight you guys because I don't get my permits. The fire department hates me. Uh, and here we are, and they welcome me with open hands and say, what do you want? And I have a list of 60 items. And Bob Green and his team have just been phenomenal. And they go, not a problem. Nothing has been no. It's just been yes, yes, yes. This is a yes city. 
awesome, and it's, I can't wait to come down October 8th and kick a little bit of tail. It's going to be a good time. Thanks for coming out. This, this staff, it's the entire city that puts this event on. It's not just one department, but this department leads us in this effort. And this department is about 20% less employees than they were three years ago and does about 100% more than they did three, three and a half years ago. And they do it with a smile, and they do it with excitement in everything they do, and they do it phenomenal. There is not a better organization of folks in this state to lead us in putting on an event. So it's my pleasure to introduce representing our city staff, Bob Green. A couple of great things here. Here we are on the 7th, 8th, and 9th of October doing this race. And really, not only is it a race, it's also a festival that takes place at the same time. So we have great entertainment on Saturday and Sunday that will be on the boulevard. It'll be just west of where the course is located. So we make our long straightaway down to Ehrlich and then turn uh, left on Ehrlich going up to Milling. If you go west of Ehrlich, that's where the festival will take place. We'll have entertainment. We'll have bands out there. We have a number of great things, food to eat, plus our restaurants that have great places to go to. And in addition to that, we have a car show. And the car show has always been a great attraction at this event. I really want to thank everybody who comes out and supports this event, especially the sponsors. There are partners that do this. As the mayor said, wouldn't happen without their help. They make a big, big difference in what we can do, adding all the special flair to the event. We have some great people that have partnered with the city for a number of different activities, including our media. So we really want to thank everybody for that. But just remember, on the 7th, 8th, and 9th, there are some terrific things to come and see and do. And if you're not just into racing, the festival will give you plenty to do and enjoy as well. So thank you very much. Please come out. Have a good time. Media, let's race some cars.